Okay, boys and girls, so what we're going to do is we are going to create our birds on a tree branch using a circle stencil. And if you don't have a circle stencil at home, you can just use a, a cup or a, a small lid. But you want to try to have a very horizontal surface so that we can fit six birds on our branch. So in order to achieve the look that I have on the bottom, the first thing we want to do before we trace our circles is we want to draw a branch. And the way that we draw a branch is literally just drawing a curved line along the left-hand side of the page. And then we continue it all the way down onto the bottom like that, okay? Eventually, we're going to color in using a brown marker. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tracer and you are going to trace it six times, okay? Now, I already traced it six times. What you need to notice is that I have one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom, and like that. You have to fit six. So you're gonna have to fit one lower, one higher, one lower, one higher. You could do high, low, high, low. It's up to you. But what you wanna do is you wanna be able to fit six and you wanna draw them lightly, okay? You're gonna trace six circles. One low, one high, six, because we're gonna be doing the rainbow of birds, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, the colors of the color wheel, okay? So I trace my circles and everybody has their how to draw your easy birds, okay? And if you don't have it in your hands, you have this on the Seesaw account. So I'm going to do everything in Sharpie. Right now, I'm going to outline everything, all my circles in Sharpie. Everyone is going to do this with pencil first, and then you will outline in Sharpie as well. Because we're going to be painting these birds if you have paint at home, if not, you can use marker. And you want to trace them nice and smooth. We're basically turning circles into birds. And what's really fun is depending on where you place your circle is going to help you figure out if you're gonna have your bird standing on the branch or flying in the air. And I'm gonna just do a similar setup of what I have up here. I want you to come up with your own, but I'm just gonna show you what I did here so that you can see how it's done. So after you trace your six circles with pencil, okay, I'm doing the rest of this lesson in Sharpie, okay? You're going to draw your birds. Okay, so I'm actually gonna outline this line in Sharpie too, so you can see that this is the branch here. Okay, so Basically, what we're going to do is you're going to, if you have a bird that's low to the, the branch here, you're going to do a two vertical lines and then almost like make two triangles at the bottom. And I'm going to draw a circle for the eye, a triangle for the nose. And then I'm going to draw a, hopefully you can see this, I'm going to draw um, feathers and the wing, okay? And I like to color in the eyes in the end with Sharpie. Now again, you're doing this with pencil first. So you're going to be going through all of your different kinds of birds. Is it gonna go flying up to the right, to the left? It's up to you. So, but if you have um, a bird that's not close to the branch, then you're going to want 
to have it be a flying bird. So remember, do this in pencil first, okay? And you can always erase it if you happen to make a mistake. This bird is going to be standing straight, look, looking straight at, at us here. And one of the things you want to keep in mind is the relationship of the birds to each other. Are they going to be looking at each other? Are they going to be flying in the same direction? Are they going to be standing? Are they going to be going up to the left? Are they going to be looking down? Okay. And... Um, like, so here, you know, maybe I'll have this bird going this way. And again, you should look at the pictures to see which way your bird is going to be flying. And maybe I'll still have this bird going down. It's all just drawing triangles, circles, lines and wings and after you do it in pencil you're going to trace everything in sharpie make sure your nose is under the eye okay and when you're done with this step, I will show you about the coloring.